My book is called Democracy, the Great Deception, Wildfire Volume 1 and 2. I thought of calling it the greatest deception, but I think the financial monetary system is probably the greatest deception. I'm Jeanette Gale Francis, and this is a promotional video for my paperback, which covers why I've been surgically raped with silicon fillers that have made my chin longer and my nose fatter and longer and my cheeks fuller and my check my under my what do you call that the throat full of silicon and elsewhere and all the other illegal implants it's the motive for the government to do this to me and involves the company called cochlear limited which is the ear implant people my paperback uh, starts with me being uh, illegally identified in 1989 as a murder victim for a previous crime that the Freemason police in New South Wales had created. I was slotted into that crime because I'd witnessed a police murder, a Freemason police murder of a friend of my family, Jack Bassett, the police claim was a suicide when it wasn't. I was the only independent witness. Now, I've stated before in my um, website that I have cochlear, an illegal cochlear implant. A cochlear is your hearing centre in your head. You have a left and a right cochlear region. It's not something abnormal. It's not uh, dedicated specifically to the Macquarie University New State of New South Wales company called Cochlear Limited. It is a region of the body and it, they can't say that, you know, anything other. So the cochlear implant, whether it was owned by a cochlear limited or not, which I, I sincerely believe it was, was drilled into my ear canal, at the top of my ear canal, just inside the opening of my ear. I can still feel a, a little scar or whatever it is, but that's where it was drilled into. And it was painfully sore after it was done. And I had thought, because I had no other thing to go on, I thought that I'd had a pimple that had busted in my ear because I couldn't think of anything else that it could be. But it was the illegal implant. That went in in the 1990s. And that causes my the entire side of my face to vibrate, uh, physically vibrate. And there's something that they've put in the ears, the outer ear themselves, that causes the ears to physically vibrate. And in these regions here and here, to try and touch with my fingers, in those two regions, I don't know if you can see that, that's where I feel tapping and vibration. And that's the cochlear region. And also I feel vibration in a lump in the top of my head. And also I feel vibration where my skull was pierced here and I was I woke up in 1997 in my house uh, with it bleeding and open right this spot here so that would be scar tissue if I shaved my head you would see the scar there I would imagine because it was open and weeping so uh, they've put illegal uh, implants all over me basically they've used my body as the as the aerial and you can see the positions of the illegal implants in my YouTube video. So I really won't go into that. But what's happened, basically, they identified a witness crime. They identified me as a, a dead person to defame me as that dead person and as faking my death and probably claiming that I'd done something horrendous that the police couldn't pin on me, so they did this to me. Who knows what they said? Who knows what goes on in the brain of a, a terrorist, psychopath, which is what these Freemason people are in Australia. And so they've done this to me. They, they've defamed me, surgically raped me. And now the next step was to block my access to government services, which is terrorism, basically, because they've blocked them for their political or ideological causes. Now, uh, to make it so, a long story sort of short, I wrote to the South Australia, because I moved from New South Wales to South Australia, I wrote to the South Australia Police and asked them to investigate medical crimes. So they responded by falsifying documents that claim that I wrote something completely different and on the basis of this something completely different, they 
permanently cancelled my driver's licence since 2018. And I've written to the ministers and, and other people and gone to my local state representative, um, Christopher Picton from Grana, and all, all gone to the police ministers, gone to the transport ministers, gone to anyone that you could possibly think of to complain about this illegal action. And I've been refused my legal rights, my democratic rights to have my driver's licence reinstated because this document that that the transport department claim was genuine and just falsified, criminally falsified to pervert the course of justice. I could go on to a dozen crimes that that entails. And then uh, just before that, I had the health department and the, um, or I should say the mental department and the housing department because they've stolen my real estate in New South Wales, so I've been forced into private rental or, or government housing. And the government housing people have decided to bring a swag of people to uh, create home invasions to try and defame me as mentally ill now because they've moved on from, from the uh, defaming me as a, a dead person to now defaming me as mentally ill. That was part of the personality of this dead person that she had some sort of mental condition. So they've falsely diagnosed me as schizophrenic and all sorts of rubbish in their secret documents that they started in 2007 because I put my name down on the waiting list for public housing and I didn't find that out until Freedom of Information documents in 2018. So from 2000, uh, sorry, 2006 to 2018, what's that, 12 years, I was being criminally defamed in these secret documents that were being passed around amongst all the government departments in South Australia and the federal Centrelink department as well. So, um, yeah, so the last trick was, the most recent trick was the South Australia Civil and Administrative Tribunal uh, made illegal orders based on Section 72 and Section 80 of the Residential Tenancies Act 1995 South Australia, which pursuant to Section 5 brackets 2 of the Residential Tenancies Act is not an option that's open to the State of South Australia Housing Trust. But the tribunal made these uh, orders without jurisdiction. And when I complained to ministers, Sorry, I had to break for that because they started vibrating my throat. There's an implant across my throat here, a cable implant across there. And there's implants down my throat that have gone in through my nose and they vibrate that and make it hard for me to talk. <coughs> and um, I know they're vibrating because I can press in certain places to stop the vibrations and uh, cover my chin because they're near plate of my chin. That also uh, prevents vibrations. Covering the back of my neck prevents vibrations. There's a whole pile of garbage. And this is the sadistic practice that's been going on in Australia. If you complain about the lack of democracy in Australia, you get physically attacked and assaulted. You get tortured because you complain about the physical, about the... Um, illegal practices in government. This is how sadistic they are. So like I said, the recent one with the South Australian Civil Administrative Tribunal making these illegal orders without any jurisdiction, they effectively ordered a home invasion. Now, under the state criminal law, a home invasion means serious criminal trespass. And serious criminal trespass means a person enters that section Serious Criminal Trespass is Section 168 of the Criminal Law Consolidation Act 1935, South Australia. Serious Criminal Trespass, Section 3, in Section 1, 168, brackets 3, a person who enters or remains in a place with, a, with the consent of the occupier is not to be regarded as a trespasser unless that consent was obtained by 
force or by threat or an act of deception. Well, the order of the tribunal is a threat. If I don't obey the order of a tribunal, I can be in prison. And the act of deception is the tribunal made the order because the tribunal doesn't have jurisdiction. So the South Australian Civil Administrative Tribunal has ordered serious criminal trespass on my property without jurisdiction. I complained to the minister and I got an email the other day to tell me that I, the appropriate uh, step for that is to go back to the tribunal and ask them to review their decision. And so I wrote back to the minister and said, I've asked them to review their decision. They refuse. They expect me to pay $150 to review it. And they refuse to do it anyway. And apart from all that, what they've done is perverting the course of justice and due administration of law for a political or ideological cause. And that's a crime. So how can you go back to a tribunal to get them to um, review their criminal decision? That, that's, not, that's not democracy. That's totalitarian dictatorship. That's not democracy. So anyway, my book is all about proving what I'm saying, proving in their own documents. I've got my blurb, what I say, what I believe, what I feel, who I am, my ancestry, and I also prove in dozens and dozens of their documents that they are total psychopathic terrorists and there is no democracy in Australia. There probably is no democracy anywhere in the entire world. I'm Jeanette Gal Francis. Thank you. Please buy my book.